Are you somebody that wants to create massive success, but you really don't want to work that hard? If that's you, then this video is for you. One of my favorite universal laws, and it took me a little while to actually accept this as truth, and I had this pivotal aha moment that I'm going to share with you guys today, is the law of least action. You can also refer to this as the effortless way. So it's about creating success without the hustle, the grind. So without having to work 14 to 16 hour days, without having to work evenings and weekends, without staying up really late to hit a deadline, whatever it might be that you find is consuming your time so much, there is another way. It's the effortless way. So all of my life, I was somebody who believed she was lazy. So I kept thinking this about myself all the time because when we would walk to the store, I would always ask myself, like, what's the fastest way to get there? Like, what is there like a, somewhere we can like cut through, you know? And then when I would be in university, it was like, is there a way that I can get an A plus on this exam, but not have to be up all night studying and grinding and being at the library for a week before the exam? And even when I got into this material and I started learning about manifestation, you know, doing things in a certain way instead of doing certain things. I have often said that what I did is I didn't climb the mountain. I just chartered a helicopter and got to the top. And this is what I'm talking about. It is the law of least action. So what was actually within me much of my life was a desire to do things faster and with less effort. And anything that told me that this was wrong made me feel bad about myself. It made me think I was lazy. I have completely gotten rid of that whole notion, that whole idea, that whole belief in myself that says that I'm lazy and actually believe that I'm quite innovative. And I actually believe that I am simply moving according to universal law. So the law of least action, you see it in nature all the time. Nature will take a pathway that has the least amount of resistance to accomplish what it needs to accomplish. So water, it will run downhill and not uphill. Why? because downhill is easier. Water will go around the rocks instead of trying to break through them because it's easier. It's the law of least action. And if you can allow yourself to use this principle in your life, in your business, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you can learn a completely different way of existing within your own business. One that allows you to be spiritually aligned and connected, one that allows you to be present for your family and friends, to build a massively successful business, and then in turn teach this to your family and friends. This will allow you to have massive success, but you will have to let go. You will have to let go to the idea that it has to be hard, that you have to work a lot of hours, and that you have to hustle to create what you want. And so what you can do is you can allow yourself to do things in an effortless, way. So when I am working in my business, I am making sure that every moment spent in my business is productive, is moving me forward and is done in the right energy, which means I'm inspired. I expect the outcome to be what I want it to be. And I take action from the identity of myself having accomplished everything that I desired. And if I do that, that's the effortless way because everything I do will then work have an impact and the energy you put a thing in will determine the outcome of that thing. So when you let, when you allow the law of least action to be your truth, you will see your business grow. You will see your life become different. And guess what? You will enjoy the path along the way versus waiting to enjoy it once it's there. If you liked this video, I would love for you to share it with someone that you think they would benefit from and let me know in the comments your favorite part. With gratitude, Kathleen.